here in this pattern I'm really thinking of adding four squares which will be of um, four square of four different color and the background will be of this I am trying to add this four rectangular squares in my blanket as you really can see this for this I really have calculated some math you know that it's math you probably you might not even understand that what I'm trying to see here but right now what I really have this like it says here 56 stitches plus uh, 40 stitches on this 56 stitches on right hand side if this is you really regard this on right hand side of needle and this 46 40 exactly 40 here I really have just uh, make the mark in this 40 so what I really do this okay one from here and one from so this means 55 and 39 okay so what I'm really thinking is this is my first way of just first one two this is first effort and now what you really need to do this add another yarn to make it and so knit another just knit it just like this As you really can see this now I'm back side of this blanket okay what you really do this from here is you do this in the beginning it is not that easy as it looks from far or maybe from this what you really have to do this is And again change the yarn and knit it you really don't have to as you really can see this 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 green remains two here and we just knit it like this entire row As you can see this I am in the front row but I really have to go to until I really reach to this green one almost I just have to do it knitting just like this let me tie this first before I even knit it I should have done this before As you really can see this
as you really can see this we don't have to do much in this left or right only the, this part we are at the back side of this blanket it's a center piece of the blanket not the entire blanket okay when we'll I'll just show you you will just get it what I really mean I just cross this like this so that I don't have to hide it sometimes You need three balls of wool to do all this, okay? Two orange color and one is green color for this. Now, again, we are at the center of this. Not exactly center, but at this, you know, the time. You know, that we take the front one and then we just take it and this meet it with the green one you know that every time this we take it one one stitches from every this left or right hand side and you need two two orange color and one green color to make this pattern so now all you really have to do this just knit it Now you can see that we have reached to this maximum. We have 42, 42 stitches here, 18 here, and the rest here. So it's time for us to go to this, 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 this shape. shape. This is the point that, that I'm just going to show you how to do this. Okay. now we just enter this go inside and so decrease what is from the center just take it As you know, we need three balls, two orange color and one green color, so that you really can make it. Look, this looks from this back side of the half. Half of this looks like this. And all you really have to do this, keep knitting in this side and left hand side. Like before, this back side will always be the same front or back going inside or going outside we just have to need no need to worry about going left or right going inside or outside you do not need to worry about it all you really just do this is knitting what exactly in this needle call just matching the color working on my graphic designs you know that it's a color of a graphical work and 
full of color bright and vibrant color to make you and my mood if you like you really can just leave some masses you know that below that what is you work what sort of pattern you would like to design you would like to work in your niche work just leave your comment below Again, we are at the front of it, and so again, we really just go inside of it, right? Instead of outside to make ours rectangular. And so, every time this we do go inside, we decrease. We are going to make this rectangular square. here there is only one there is only one green color so we just cross this and this make it this one just knit it like this all this you know that entire row we're just using the garter stitch to make this now it's time to add another wool here in this one I have dated, you know, that 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, 32, and 30, 30, let me just see this. Thirty-two, thirty-four, and here I'm just going to add another color of this light yellow color. Two. I've just needed two. Now I'm just going to add one more color of wool ball. You know that it's orange color, as you really can see this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Ten is here. Now, even if we have added another one, we need to just keep continuing this, the green part. Let's look at this green one. Okay, can you see this? It is because that you know that I figure it out. If I really decide, it's after finishing this green green one, I. There won't be much space. This is the region. I'm just knitting it. You must be wondering how many wool ball I need at this point. One, two, three green, three orange color, and one green and one. One green and one. Light yellow color. You really can just figure this out by this time. All we really do this continue knitting without moving left or right hand side. All you do this is color chains and this. Two, three. All 
will you really do this is wait one two now like before we're just going to <coughs> sorry This time it is going to be four stitches in the center. Okay, what you really do this is just like before. It's just you know that lighter will just keep continue. Oh, I made some mistake there. That's okay. Not a big mistake to worry about. It really can be corrected, you know. Did you notice this? You know that the slight yellow is just going outside and this is coming inside. Spreading and shrinking is the difference between this two, you know, that other this dissolved triangle which was just making. Can you see this? It will be this one which goes to be just like this. like this tangled wool is going to be one of the problem here but for a good pattern the tangled wool is almost nowhere in comparison to the nice blanket in this get, get latch on Scratch work while you were knitting. Now we have got the 15 here and 40 stitches of this one. This means it's time to go inside. You know that now it's time to decrease it. So and there we have 56, a little bit more than 56 here. But the main important is 15 and 40. So what we really do this here is knit it this many of you know this as a garter stitch one of the most easiest one and the perfect one to use for blanket project 
instead of going outside now we go inside of it and using this It's all plain knitting, nothing to worry about and just one stitch go inside. At this point we'll just have only three ball of wool. As you really can see that two is orange one and two is one is light yellow color one. This is the back side of our blanket or maybe it's a piece of blanket. So many of you must be wondering what, how much stitches I have in this needle. It's a 9 to 6 needle, S sorry, 9 to 6 stitches and and in it's, it's in left and right side there will be pieces of 90 stitches as you really know this this is the back back side of it you don't have to we don't have to do anything it just follow whatever is we have on this needle Now we are at this front side of this piece of blanket. What we do this go inside instead of just going outside going inside. From this side also we just go in the one one stitch inside
here at this moment what I'm trying to do this is reduce this this square this square reduction process I'm just trying to show you many of you now we have four to stitches in it what we are just going to do this is reduces one going inside of it going inside of it When there is this last one, take this and knit it with horns. It just goes continue like this. We do this from the front side only. The back side we don't need to do anything. Just change of yarn. Nothing else. Many of you must be knowing this is about a stitch, right? Now we are almost at the end of the black, end of this last, adding the last square, rectangular square in our blanket. For that, we just have to knit 34. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty, twenty-two, twenty-four, twenty-six, twenty-eight, thirty, thirty-two, and thirty-four. Now we're going to add the last bright color of one and two. At this point you really need three ball of oranzo and then two one is that uh, as you just can see this bright uh, yellow and another is just this light one as you really can see this this one is keep decreasing I mean green one is creep decreasing L1 with creep increasing just the color not the stitches on the needle okay when I really use the word increase or decrease part We are at the last, last rectangle to create here. 
and this is our back side of this blanket piece as you know this from the back side we only just do follow the collar rather than going in or out here what we do this and this there is some mistake let me correct it here as you know at this point of when we're this when there are two rectangular in a row we need about five not about exactly five ball of wools you can call this yarn also it's not just wool okay do this do this and let's do this I should have done this in the row before but even if I'm just doing this here it's not a big deal or big issue it's it will have the same impact what, what I'm supposed to do okay now what we do this is here and From back side, we only just do it color going, color to color, nothing extra. Many of you know this as garter stitch, right? As you know, we just go here, take this, make this, and knit it. One one stitch from here, and do this, this, and knit it. Uh, when this bright yellow is keep going outside this slight green which is on the snare on the same row is just keep this one is just like we just go inside and if it has got the six row now it will be just one two three four and this one goes in okay just like this two three In just two rows, the screen will be out from the needle, and there will be only just this bright yellow.
it's a uh, 15 rows and it has got the 40 total row starting with two rows two stitches 40 rows and 40 stitch 40 44 stitches in the center of it you know that when we really start it here we just leave it about 20 and so rest goes there and this is 40 rows 40 stitches 40 rows 40 stitches 40 rows and this one is going to be uh, 44 rows 44 stitches and 44 rows in total and that left hand side it it, ha it has only 15 when it is up to here it's a 13 stitches and rest here after that so I'll just show you this um, paper document about this uh, math math side of this blanket now we have come almost at the end of our blanket centerpiece of the blanket let's let me see this all we really need to do this about 10 or 12 rows by now all of you are just know this from back side of this we don't need to move in as it is ending right As you can see this we have three stitches this only means we made a mistake somewhere down the row Many of you might be thinking, Ki, I should have just knitted this three at one to end it. But I am going to keep this one, this one stitch to end it and only in the next row.
last of our row now because this is our last thing so let's cut our rayons and do this before we reach there and let's plan to end it we're going to leave it this color but here with the, what I do normally is this so that you really don't have to worry about hiding it when you go up And see that our just my wool balls is almost tangle free can you see it tangle free wool balls when you are just casting off always do this from the back side of it like this is the shows you this is the back side it is because you will get fine finishing and another thing is pick up one size bigger needle compared to the this size when you really just cast it off this will give you better stretch Some people tend to go for this tighter cast off which is not a good idea. Your casting off has to be as normal as your knitting and so that it won't curl up or maybe just with the tight look you know that. I always prefer to just let the wool ball pass through this you never know when you are just going to need those ball especially I need this to join my blanket you know that this long piece look at this one if this falls on the back side of it your front side looks much better that is the region we really need it I mean end it off at the back side so that front looks perfect right you decide how perfect this looks you prefer this one or this one in the front of your front of your blanket look at the back side of it look how normal this looks this is this one is a bit tight one compared to the rest rest part of it but it, it's not that bad here and look at this front side of this this is the region really make it keep it on 
the reason we just keep it behind is because of this look so it's your decision which one you really want to keep it our ending size of our ending has to be as as much as this size of this beginning of this blanket you know that this down is the beginning starting point and this is ending top two is a ending part a cast off thing so the size of it has to be as much as same same as from the starting point to join to make it safe and stronger so and this and this This joining method is much better, stronger and durable compared to this or other needle swing. You may have tried it at some point of your life when making blanket. I also used to do this needle joining. I was not very really good at swing part. So Ever since I really come to know about this joining, my life has been so easy and I love the blanket, you know, that with its finishing, pretty good finishing touch of this crochet join. Look at this, how it looks. Can you see this? And look how strong this looks also. Now, as you really can see me, I'm at the end of this blanket making joining process. Just couple of rows to With my slow pace like this, it takes me about mm, one uh, one hour to one side of it. This complete side, you know that this full side one hour. Then other side, it takes me another one hour. It's not easy to pick this up let me see and let me pick this up and I do this I do this <coughs> oh my god
see this. If in case you have not subscribed my channel yet, I'm just going to request you to subscribe it. And you can also just post comment below. You know, if you like this, if you like this kind of, and definitely you are going to get more ideas, more new designs here in my channel.